All right, this is just going to be a quick video showing the method I use to start a print. Um, and let's just say hypothetically I've changed out the filament uh, from, say, white to blue. And what I usually do, what I always do, is purge everything out that's in there. And I do that by the move axis function because I want to make sure that the extruder is working good. There's no skipping or popping or clunking or jumping or whatever. So I purge it through the Bowden tube, out the nozzle, and then I hold on to the purged filament because I want to look at it to be sure that it's coming out properly at the 0.4 millimeters that the nozzle is set for. I've already trammed the bed, which is the proper um, way of explaining it. They say leveling, but tramming is both. Tramming is not only uh, checking that the, the distance is the same all the way around, but it's also making sure it's equal all the way around. So that's the, the term is called tramming. I'm going to go over here and see my nozzle temperature is at 212. I preset it, ready to go for this filament. And you can also see I've never heated the bed. I'm not heating the bed now. I never will. Uh, the set point is at zero, so it's at room temperature. So because I do it in this fashion, the, what you're seeing right here is what I do every time. So the first thing I'll do is preheat oops, the nozzle. I'm going to set this down right here, and I'm going to go ahead and purge uh, the filament because I want to clean out everything that's that's in the filament or in the in the Bowden tube and in the nozzle so that it's guaranteed to start out with the blue color filament. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to take this, I'm going to go over here, I'm going to go to motion, now you can't really see that, uh, move axis, okay, I'm going to go down to extruder, and basically I'm going to do the one millimeter, and you won't be able to do this unless the nozzle is heated, so we already know it's at 212, I'm going to move it at one millimeter, and I'm going to go approximately, I'd say, I'd say about 40 or 30 millimeters, so I'm going to hit the, the knob and turn it to about 30 and right now it's purging. I'm going to go back to the beginning and I'm going to put the camera so you can see this. So there you go. I've got a hold of the filament. I'm looking at it. I'm checking it out to be sure it's purging nice. It's looking great. It's not breaking or falling apart. I'm going to go here to uh, the main page. I'm going to go here to print from the media. Hit the model and hit print. Okay, there it goes. So since it was already set up, the 212 is already set, I don't heat the bed, I've purged out the filament, and I'm still holding on to it here, because you want to hold on to it the entire time, or until it falls off. Now you can see right here, it's actually released itself from the nozzle. That gives me an indication that probably the nozzle is a little too hot, but I'm going to let it go anyway, and I'm going to reach under here and grab any that might be here, and I'm going to slice it off. Okay. So right now it should be going in for the, the, the skirt. So I'm going to put the filament here. But if you do the purge, you have to pull it off and keep it and throw it away. You don't want it to be sucked into the, uh, into the uh, fan here, the uh, heat sink fan. Okay, right now it's doing the skirt, okay, as it's supposed to. Looks, looks good. I can kind of, since it's blue filament, I can kind of see it right here. So let's just look at it because we got to be sure this is very important beginning of a, of a print. Okay, you can see a little bit here. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go over here to where it says tune, and I'm going to uh, wait a minute. Let me go back. I'm going to go to tune. And I'm going to go to uh, uh, baby steps. Okay, and I'm just going to, I'm going to, you know, even though it's printing, I can see the skirt, I can see the print. I'm going to go ahead and move it up. Okay, uh, point 0.1, so it's move up point 0.1, okay, I'm, I'm going to verify it, move up here, okay, and now we're back at the home page, I've moved, I moved the uh, uh, gantry up just point 0.1, I'm looking at it here, and it's looking really great, and again, you have to just be sure all of this works for you, if none of this is working, stop the print, you're wasting your time, because you need this very first layer to be a good layer, a, a perfect layer, so that it has something to build on. So there we go, we purge out the filament, we start the print, and while it's uh, purging, it's going to go in, I'm holding on to the purged out filament, and I throw it away before it gets sucked into the fan, but right now, we're doing great, as usual. This works every single time, and I'm watching, I'm watching that everything is clean, all the lines are perfect, okay, and then in a second here, after it's done outlining, 
everything. I'm, I'm looking at it here. I can see everything's going great as it always has. Okay. Check this out over here. Okay, there it goes. Now it's starting the actual print. It's done all of the outline and now it's laying down the very first layer line by line. Okay, so you can kind of see it there, smooth. Okay, you don't want it rickety or jaggedy ass or anything like that. You want the perfect layer. That's very, very smooth. Okay, so I'm going to come back, of course. I'm, I'm not going anywhere until I know that that first layer is going to be golden because that very first layer is what everything builds on. And it, it's that way in no matter what you do, whether it's a small little print, whether it's a big print like this, and you can see here, I don't have any brim, no raft, no messy glue stick messing everything up. You don't need any of that because this works. It always has. You know, you can see I'm not making this shit up. Okay, there's no electronic gizmo here to do the leveling. As I told you before, it's this. I use the old-fashioned, old-school tramming tool. It has worked for years, and it, once you've mastered the ability, it takes less than a you know less than a minute to check your uh, your level to to tram your bed. Okay, there you go. You can see that's nice. There's no there's no lines and, and spacing or missing filament or anything like that because we already know when we purged it it was going to flow great we already knew that from the beginning so now it all depends on your tramming skills all right that's that's it okay so we'll look over here again 212 is a nozzle zero temperature on the bed it's not heating it's not required so why bother and it's also no heating no cooling no issues removing any print, this print here, even though it's going to cover this entire bed, is not going to be an issue to remove. It never has been, never will. Alright, happy printing.